they will start off by telling you how much they miss you. Yet, they never call. They never text. They don't communicate at all. They will then go into how much they love you. But when the opportunity presented for them to show you their love in action, they neglected you. They were unable to do that. So you're confused. You feel lied to. Like someone's trying to swindle you into feelings for them. But the truth is, you actually feel what they say. You do love them. You do miss them. And you show it because you are the only one of the two of you who actually reaches out. You're the only one who checks on the other. They tell you about what will happen when you have your next opportunity to see one another. But their plans always fall through. Things never seem to come together the way they promise. And this time, no different, except that there's an audience. Other people get to witness them telling you how much they miss you and love you. It makes the audience feel as though you are the reason this person suffers from emotional pain. The audience believes that only if you changed, did right, were more open, kind, vulnerable, forgiving, this person wouldn't have such a hard time in their life. They believe it's your fault. There is energy here of superior versus inferior. You are supposed to come to me. You are in position beneath me. It is your role to make this right, to make me feel better, to work this out, to heal our connection. I should never need to come to you. And I definitely should never need to apologize to you. I don't apologize. I don't apologize to those who are beneath me. I am the leader. Even if I make a mistake, your forgiveness should be automatic. There's a level of respect that is innate. If you don't honor that innate level of respect, you deserve whatever neglect and disrespect you get. See, this is why the relationship between you and this person heals so terribly, slowly, and the wound is constantly reopened. It hurts to know that there is only one participant here willing to be vulnerable, and it's you. There's only one person here willing to be authentic, and it's you. They say they miss you and they love you, but they don't call. They don't come to see you. They make absolutely no effort to keep you abreast, involved at all. There are others 
with a lesser connection to them who know them better, who they love openly, deeper, in front of others. Their intention is not to make you feel small, though you do. Their intention is to make you jealous and therefore break you down into loving them the way they think you should. And unfortunately, some of you will succumb. Some of you will not. Either way, you will likely face some level of heartbreak. Expect not for this person to change. They will not. They will also directly tell you they will not change. They will say those words to your face. I am too old to change now. So they expect you to bend. And it's okay if you do. But if you choose not to, this is okay as well. Whatever the path is for the two of you, it will not it will not be healed in a way where there is only one participant willing to do so. The relationship between the two of you will be healed when you realize it only takes one person to heal the person that's hurt. And that means you healing you. This person is your karmic soulmate in this lifetime. Your mother, your grandmother, your father, your uncle, your aunt, your sibling, your sister, your brother. You think because you share DNA and lineage that this would be easier. But the fact is, is that you decided not to fall in line, not to step into your role and stay there. Now that you've made a firm and honest choice on how you want to live your life and what stance you take, you must now be prepared to sacrifice collective love and lean heavily into loving yourself, understanding yourself, accompany, forgiving yourself, accompanying, forgiving, being grateful for yourself. That is the only way this relationship will not take you to your grave unhappy, unstable, and in a state of unrest. It is now your responsibility to give yourself the love you need because no matter what they say, they will not stand to greet you in the action of the word love. You must show the world what that looks like for yourself. I love you.